So what would you say to anybody who is afraid? They're still a bit skeptical about online shopping or online business. What would you have to say to them? I would um, advise them to have a thought about what the pandemic has done to us and it taught us a tough lesson never rely on a single source of income. All right, so how I'm impacting the world right now? Well, um, because I've been there and done that, and uh, the, I'm a, like a walking advertisement for good health and vitality and positive thinking, um, I think I need to spread this message far and wide to anybody. When I was about to start that job, it was a microfinance job basically, so when I was about to start the job, they told us that, you know, it's no longer available. I mean, and I went back to my show, I was like, what's happening? What is really happening? I mean, did that this thing doesn't really work? Is that there's no job in the country? This kind of unemployment matter is how we're going to actually work. And that was what led me into sitting down and asking myself a simple question. And I always tell people that this is one question that changed my life. The question was, where do I go from here? And another thing that you know ignited my fire was my mom is breadwinner of the house. So I was always feeling so sad seeing a woman carrying the load of the house. And I'm like, not like not like my husband is dead for Christ's sake. Like what kind of love is this? So it it, it really changed because we are five. Better who this she not so much, she walked like a jackass. And I'm like, Lord have mercy. So that was actually what propelled me to going out there at the age of 15. When I finished my secondary school, I went out of my father's house to look for jobs, to look for something to do because I felt I needed to reduce the burden on her. Oh,